Noble Review, Macroeconomics and Microeconomics. For use with introductory college macro and micro courses, as well as the AP macro and micro exams. Today we're gonna go over oligopolies! Mame, please. An oligopoly exists when we have a few powerful firms selling identical or differentiated products. A firm in an oligopoly has considerable control over the price. It's very difficult for new sellers to enter the market because there are significant barriers to entry such as economies of scale. A firm can even profit in the long run. Firms in an oligopoly are interdependent, so game theory is often used to show a firm's optimal decision and possible payout. An example of an oligopoly would be the market for video game consoles. Game theory is an important topic that comes up in the discussion of oligopoly, more specifically, for this course, duopoly behavior. One of your goals is to determine a firm's dominant strategy, or best strategy regardless of an opposing firm's strategy. This will help you find the Nash Equilibrium. When reading a game theory matrix, the firm on the left has its payouts on the left in each cell. The firm on the top typically has its payouts on the right in each cell. In the diagram that you see here, Totally Inc.'s dominant strategy is strategy A, and that's because $2,305 is greater than $2,200. $272, and $2,350 is greater than it $2,325. Awesome LLC's dominant strategy is also strategy A, because $2,305 is greater than $2,272, and $2,350 is greater than $2,325. Therefore, the Nash Equilibrium is the cell where both firms play strategy A. We know that each firm will earn $2,305 when they play their dominant strategies. As long as one firm has a dominant strategy, you can find the Nash Equilibrium. A prisoner's dilemma occurs when each firm's respective payouts are greater if each firm does not play its dominant strategy. In the game theory matrix, the dominant strategies for both firms are to play strategy A, and the outlined cell is the Nash Equilibrium. If both firms play strategy B, then their payouts are greater! $2,325 apiece! Suppose that the firms collude and agree to play strategy B. The dilemma is whether each firm can trust the other to play strategy B and not strategy A. Without a commitment device, each firm has an incentive to cheat to gain greater profit. The likely outcome is that they will both cheat and end up in the original Nash Equilibrium. The subject of cartel formation often arises when discussing oligopoly behavior. If the firms within the industry collude and successfully coordinate their business decisions, then a cartel is formed. A cartel acts like a monopoly as it controls the price and output of the market. This situation is highly in a fish hunt. Consumers lose and the cartel's profits rise. The Organization of the Petroleum Exporting Countries, OPEC, is an example of a cartel. Ew, gross. Well, that wraps up this noble economic review lesson. Head on over to mrmedico.info for a ton of free study resources. ASAP. Till next time. See ya.